welcome to vision academy this is my second video on f test in my first video i had briefed about f test along with that assumption and i also solved a problem on f test yeah, the, in this uh, video i am also going to solve one more problem on f test by finding s1 square s2 square x bar and y bar so let us uh, have a, a problem for solving a, a f test so this is a problem in this problem the following data relate to the number of items produced in a shift by two workers a and b for some days the worker produced data are given here that is a data worker a and worker b data are given assuming that the parent population are normal so they are asking us to assume these data are normally distributed can it be inferred that B is more stable or consistent worker compared to A at 1% level of significance? So they are asking us to test whether the B is more stable than A because for B we have 9, 9 days data, for A we have 11 days data. Based on the given information, by assuming the given data are normally distributed, we have to find whether B is more stable or consistent than worker a so this is the formula we need to approach uh, for this problem uh, in this problem they have given uh, raw data not uh, s1 square s2 to s2 square is not given so we have two population here that is a uh, worker a and worker b their raw data is given using this raw data we have to find out variance of worker a variance of worker b after that we have to find the f test in my last video they had given uh, directly a variance of a and b now we have to find a variance of a and b so to find the variance of a and b so this is a formula you have to test a f test this is a formula that is f is equal to s1 square divided by s2 square to find uh, s1 square this is the formula this or this either or any one of the formula you can solve and for, for solving s2 square to finding s2 square this is a formula so using this formula we have to find out firstly s1 square and s2 square thereafter we can apply to f test so before that uh, let us uh, formulate a hypothesis hypothesis for the given uh, problem so for formulating hypothesis uh, we have two population uh, that is uh, a and b worker a and worker b so for the mathematical operation we have to imagine worker a as variance 1 worker b as variance 2 we have denoted worker a and worker b respectively because in f test we deal with variability that is why we are going to denote anything in variance of 1 and variance of 2 so now our claim is variance 1 is greater than variance 2 which means uh, a is greater than b here we should understand one thing here we want to test the worker yeah, B is more stable than worker A so as we know that uh, stability of data uh, is related to the variance of data which means smaller value of variance uh, implies the uh, data is more stable than the larger value of variability therefore to compare stability of two workers it is enough to compare their variances so that is why we have taken our claim as uh, variance 1 is greater than variance 2 just because lesser the variance is greater the stability and consistency so which means uh, worker b is more stable than worker a since we have den denoted uh, variance 1 as uh, uh, worker a and variance 2 as worker b but we here we are taking ulta just because variability matters here so uh, our claim is variance 1 is uh, greater than variance 2 and uh, you know that our complement our complement is uh, variance 1 lesser than or equal to variance 2 since complement contain equality sign we will take complement as the null hypothesis that is uh, variance 1 lesser than or equal to variance 2 and uh, remaining as a alternative hypothesis our alternative hypothesis is uh, variance 1 greater than variance 2 which means worker B uh, is more stable than worker A one more thing I am, I am telling you again I, have, I am considering variance 1 is greater than variance 2 because uh, as I told you variance is a matter so which means 
which does not mean worker A is more stable than worker B, which means worker B is more stable than worker A. In the problem, they have asked us to test whether the worker B is more stable than the worker A. So for that, our claim is variance 1 is greater than variance 2. So complement, uh, com yeah, alternative hypothesis is a uh, upper tail, which means right tail. So the test is one tail in that uh, right tail test. This is a right tail test. So you uh, by you having this uh, climb and complement, we shall move further for calculating uh, X bar and Y bar firstly. So why should we find X bar and Y bar uh, that uh, we have to apply to the formula uh, for finding S1 square and S2 square. For that we need X bar and Y bar firstly. So as I told you, this is a formula. I would like to show you again. This is a formula we need to encounter here. So this is a formula. Here firstly what we need. So N1 minus 1 is common. We can obtain this uh, the data from the problem. Here a, a summation X minus X bar whole square. Which means we need X bar. And here we need Y bar. Firstly we are finding. We are going to find x bar and y bar for that purpose only so after finding x bar and y bar we go for applying to the for the remainder formula so firstly I, I go to consider the problem so for this problem we need to find x bar and y bar so yeah worker a data is considered as a x value and worker b data is considered as y value so since uh, x is considered a uh, a is considered A. The total value of X is 374 and number of N is 11 in this case. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 11. So 374 by 11. We will get that uh, average. Average is X bar is 34. So worker A average is 34 and worker B average worker b we have worker b total value is 198 and the number of sample in worker b is 9 so worker b which means y bar value is 22 so firstly we found x bar and y bar now we shall move further so to finding the remain remaining things that is s1 square and s2 square in the formula they they we want x minus x bar whole square we want that uh, value so for that uh, we have to find out uh, some other things also so firstly i have considered uh, x value that is worker a value so here we have x bar and y bar this is a raw data so this raw data that is items produced by a which means variable x i have entered here and uh, what i want is summation x minus x bar whole square i want so for that i have i found that x bar already so by uh, by x bar i will subtract other values of x so that is x minus x bar that is x minus 34 34 is uh, x bar so which means uh, 26 minus 34 that is uh, 8 minus 8 37 minus 34 3 40 minus 34 6 35 minus 34 1 30 minus 34 minus 4 30 minus 34 minus 4 40 minus 6 uh, sorry 34 6 26 minus 34 minus 8 30 minus 34 minus 34 sorry minus 4 35 minus 1 uh, sorry 34 1 45 minus 34 will be 11 so after that uh, which is a x minus x bar this uh, column relating to x minus x bar so we need uh, x minus x bar whole square so that is why 8 into 8 64 3 into 3 9 6 into 6 36 1 into 1 1 4 into 4 16 4 into 4 16 6 into 6 36 8 into 8 64 4 into 4 16 1 into 1 1 11 into 11 121 the same thing will be done for uh, uh, one more value uh, that is variable y also. So here item produced by b that is variable y the data I have listed here. Here in the problem we had that variable of y. 
So uh, for that uh, we need to have y minus y bar. This is a uh, these data are y and y bar we have found uh, in my last uh, slide. So y bar is twenty two. That is y minus y bar. That is y is minus nineteen minus twenty two minus three. 22 minus 22 0 24 minus 2 so 22 2 27 minus 22 5 22 or 24 minus 22 2 18 minus 22 minus 4 20 minus 22 minus 2 19 minus 22 minus 3 25 minus 22 3 so after that uh, as i told you we need y minus y bar whole square i will make this uh, square uh, that minus 3 into minus 3 will be 9 0 into 0 0 2 into 2 4 5 into 5 25 2 square 4 4 square 16 2 square 4 3 square 9 3 square 9 so finally we calculated everything now we want that summation x minus x bar square summation y minus y bar square to apply to the formula of s1 square and s2 square so in the next step i have calculated everything uh, that is uh, we, that uh, the summation of all these things this total of x is 374 uh, we know that x is uh, 374 and uh, x minus x bar will be zero always and x minus x bar whole square is minus uh, sorry uh, 38 380 and this uh, total is uh, 198 which i am not mentioned and not necessary here we have already found y bar also y bar already and y minus y bar is also zero again and y minus y bar uh, whole square will be my uh, 80 so we, very as important we need uh, this uh, x minus summation x minus x bar square and summation y minus y bar square so uh, now we can apply this uh, data directly to the problem that's uh, that is f statistics this is a formula and uh, we need to still we need to find out this what is that s1 square and s2 square so for finding s1 square this is the formula 1 divided by n1 minus 1 summation x minus x bar whole square this uh, we found in our uh, last step uh, that i have pasted here and for finding the uh, s1 s2 square uh, this is a formula so we have now we which means we have to find out what now we have to find out that s1 square and s2 square firstly so s1 square s2 square c to apply it to this formula fvc is equal to s1 square s2 square we need this data s1 square s2 square so for that we need to find out s1 square and s2 square so these we here we have found that summation x minus x bar square 380 in the last uh, step we found that summation y minus y bar 80 and uh, uh, what uh, number of sample in worker a is 11 number of sample in worker b uh, that is population 2 is 9 we have extracted all the information now i will replace this information with the formula so here 1 divided by n minus 1 so n n1 minus 1 means n1 is 11 in our case that is a uh, a worker a number of days worked by worker a is 11 that is minus 1 into summation uh, x minus x bar square that is 380 we found this already so 380 that s1 square we simply got that uh, s1 square uh, 38 that is 1 by 10 into 380 will be 38 so in the same manner let us find out uh, s2 square also here s2 square is equal to 1 by n2 minus 1 into number of days worker work b worked is uh, 9 so 1 by n minus uh, n2 minus 1 into summation x minus x bar square summation x minus x bar square is 80 we found this in the last step so 1 by 8 into 80 so that uh, total value will be 10 so 1 by 8 into 80 is 10 so yeah now we found s1 square and s2 square now we can apply this uh, values to the directly to the f test statistics now we are having uh, that s1 square also s2 square also both the things we are having so here s1 square 
S1 square is 38, S2 square is 10, which is for which we found in the last step. So F statistics finally is 3.8. So finally we found F statistics. That means tested statistics of F is 3.8. So now we have to find a critical value that we have to obtain critical value. For that we have to prepare our data. So the critical value of test statistics for right tail test because our alternative hypothesis is a right tail. So the test statistics is right tail for uh, f n minus. So this is n1. This is n1. n1 minus 1 comma n2 minus 1 at 0 0.01 degree of freedom. So that n1 minus 1 is 11 minus 1 n2 minus 1 is 9 minus 1 so number of sample in n1 uh, population is 11 n2 is 9 so, and uh, for f is equal to 10 comma 8 for 0 0.01 degree of freedom our critical value is 5.81 for uh, n1 10 n2 8 at 0.01 percent degree of freedom our tested value sorry critical value is 5.81 in my last video i showed you how to obtain critical value for f test so now i again i will show you how i obtained this value so one more thing here you need to understand so this is how to read this table uh, that uh, the ANOVA to find uh, degree of freedom for ANOVA the same table we use so here f values for alpha 0 0.01 and uh, the table value for right tailed table value they have given if you want to test for left tailed we have to subtract something alpha by minus 1 then we will get a right tailed values so for f distribution uh, the values are given in right tail so here degree of freedom for v1 v1 means n1 keep in your mind n1 and here v2 in the denominator v2 means uh, n2 so our n1 is 10 n1 is 10 and n2 is 8 so we need to and at uh, 0 0.01 degree of freedom so we may which means uh, here for uh, 10 degree of freedom in the n1 and uh, here 8 degree of freedom in the n2 so our uh, interested area which means our uh, uh, critical value is what critical value is 5.81 here 5.81 so we must be very careful uh, about the degree of freedom we are going to have and the critical value percentage of critical value also so our uh, tested value is so 3.81 here tested value is 3.8 and the critical value is 5.81 so which means which clearly shows that our tested value is lesser than critical value so now finally let's go to the decision so that a decision our tested value is uh, 3.8 and the critical value we obtained from the table is 5.81 since calculated the value of tested sticks that is 3.81 is less than the critical value of 5.81 which means that lies in the non-rejection region in the table so we do not reject null hypothesis and we reject alternative hypothesis we reject our claim so let me show you that table this is a critical value uh, table so here you can see that our tested value and a critical value so here shaded area this is a critical value starting from this to the further and this is our uh, tested value falling here at 10 uh, and uh, 8 degree of freedom at uh, 1 percent level of significance our tested value is 3.8 whereas our, uh, our uh, critical value is 5.81 so our tested value is lying in non-rejection region so which means we, we do not reject null hypothesis we reject alternative hypothesis in this case we are rejecting alternative hypothesis means we have to concentrate on the claim 
so here climb is very important whether we are going to accept a climb or reject a climb that is very important so here what is our climb our climb is variance 1 is greater than variance 2 so which means uh, that our alternate hypothesis is our climb so we are rejecting our climb which means worker b is more stable than worker a we are rejecting this uh, statement which means uh, we are concluding that variance 1 and variance 2 that be between that we are concluding thus uh, conclude that samples provide a sufficient evidence against the climb so worker b is not more stable or more consistent than worker a we conclude this so this is our alternative hypothesis our alternative hypothesis uh, is our climb so we are rejecting our alternative hypothesis that worker b is more stable than worker a so both are not greater than or lesser than like both are equal in this situation so this is how we tested and uh, obtained, uh, obtained the result and uh, made a decision so this is a problem you can take a screenshot of this problem for solving the same problem like i solved and uh, this is my reference material for preparing this video thank you so much for watching please do subscribe to my vision academy youtube channel